Hi, this is continuation for Power Electrons lectures, and uh, we have here part three uh, covering the MOSFETs and its switching and driving. So, in the first part, we covered general uh, structure about MOSFETs, second uh, part about the considerations when we connect MOSFETs together and also driving them. And this part, we'll, we will talk about drivers itself. So, what is the driver? I think we mentioned that in the previous lectures. It's a circuit that has very low output impedance to make it push current very highly and is able to source and to sink relatively large currents. And I think we had an example before about how much current we have to push during very tiny time, like 100 nanoseconds, which was about 2 ampere. So we have to, to uh, design or select a driver is capable of doing that. And also that will help us to achieve a uh, high switching speed and decreases the switching losses. So this is the general structure of a MOSFET driving a load and we have to apply our signal here. I mentioned before that uh, this signal shouldn't be um, uh, just come out from microcontrollers because they are not able to switch on and off uh, in a good way the MOSFETs because sometimes they are not achieving the threshold voltage and sometimes they can't actually push the current that we want to drive this very quickly and turn it on. So that's why they use push-pull configuration like this and that is using just a top transistor getting value from a positive voltage with high current as well and that is needing just high voltage here maybe logic voltage 0 a 5 0 5 that 5 voltage will turn on this more this transistor and make the voltage there to, to push some current through that um, uh, that uh, MOSFET and we mentioned before that it's good to um, add here a resistor to reduce the EMI and also to control the current uh, going through that transistor uh, input capacitance and we have this uh, transistor too. This is charge the capacitance once you turn it off, okay? But these transistors now are classified as low side transistors, MOSFETs, okay? So we have why low side because they are connected to the ground, okay? And the load is floating and it's connected to the high side. So these are called low side driving and low side driving is easy because because they are connected to the ground and once I apply here 5 volt or 20 volt it's reference to the ground however we have other configuration where we have high side driving and this is here the complication we don't have the source connected directly to the ground and this is what we call high side driving okay and when I apply 5 volt here, for example, 5 volt, okay, that 5 volt is reference to the ground, okay, it's not reference to the source. If I apply 5 volt to the reference to the ground, that means I'm applying less voltage if I reference to the source, okay. That's why the high side driver uh, driving needs some more consideration to, uh, to take into account and to make the process of switching on these high side MOSFETs properly, okay? So that's why we have a different circuit with a different concept. And this is one of the concepts. We have different uh, designs, but I will consider talking about two designs, okay? This is one of the ideas, and look at this. We have a, a purpose, and we have objective. That objective is, I want to supply the gate with a voltage enough, more than the finished voltage, but reference to the source. That's why they connected a capacitor between the source and between the gate, okay? And now the concept is I want to charge that uh, capacitor and then I use that charge and that voltage, maybe that voltage is 15 volt, that's reference to the source, so I can push that 15 volt to the gate and the gate will be happy with that because it's reference to the source. And this is the... Uh, main purpose of switching. So look at what happens if I have this structure. I have the VS here, which is a high volt. It uses this uh, diode to charge the capacitor. But that capacitor, it doesn't charge if it's not connected to the ground. Okay? So how we connected the ground by using 
this transistor. So if I switch that transistor here, for example, on, so that transistor and that transistor, they are connected together and they receive the same signal. So that will, will switch on and that will switch on. So if that switch on now, look at that. If that switch on, it makes the gate zero. Okay, so it turns off the gate. Okay, but while turning off the gate, because we want to apply, for example, PWM signal, and PWM signal means we have turn on and turn off time. During the turn off time, we have this switch on to turn off the gate and the MOSFET, but we have another switch to charge the capacitor and make it ready for the coming turning on, okay? So we have this capacitor here. It has high voltage coming from the diode, okay, and VS, but we have to connect to the ground and it happens once we turn on this S2. And now we have charged that during the turn off time. And then we are ready to turn on again and we can use at that time the capacitor charge, okay? And this is what happens. We have charged that during the on off time and during the on time, we are opening these switches and that is the diode, okay? Will open as well because it will be reversed by us, okay? And the charge now is ready to be pushed to the gate but referenced to the source. And that is the proper switching of the high side MOSFET. So that's why this now technique is called the boot strap technique, okay? And it's very, very popular. And many manufacturers have ICs, they using this design and they ask you to uh, connect the boot strap capacitor outside with the, also the diode of that IC to make this driver, okay? So high side driver, one of the solutions to make the proper switch on is to use this capacitor and sometimes they make it more complicated they don't have this this simple resistor they have the um, uh, totem or the push pull as previous as uh, as shown in the previous slide we have two transistors they they bought the two transistor here and they help to take the current very quickly to the to the gate okay so this is very simple concept about bootstrap capacitor and bootstrap technique. And as I mentioned, we have some ICs and this is IR2117. This is one of the uh, ICs available in the in the market. It, it has four terminals here, but it says that please provide one diode and one capacitor as a bootstrap. And look at the capacitor. That capacitor is connected between one point here, which is connected finally uh, uh, through a switch to the, to the gate, and we have it referenced to the source, okay, of that MOSFET. It doesn't reference to the, to the, to the uh, ground because we are uh, making uh, in, improper uh, switching at that time. So that's why we have this capacitor between that point and the source, and we have to charge it by another voltage source by using this um, this diode okay we have other techniques which usually use isolation sometimes isolation is very important if even if you are using low side driving so i personally like this technique more the isolated technique i'm using here optocoupler even for high side or low side okay and that opt optocoupler here has now optically coupled uh, circuits we have here circuit that circuit has a ground and this circuit has different ground they are not connected to each other okay and because we have different ground so we have to provide different power supply okay so that ground and that ground they are disconnected and to provide different power supply I have to get another device or there is uh, available uh, a component which is available in the market I use personally and I like it very much okay which is very tiny uh, component and it has a isolated power supply you can supply here a, a voltage and it will bring to you at this terminal same voltage or boosted voltage but with different ground okay so I have here different ground supply Okay, and I can supply this portion of the circuit by using this supply, and that supply is using is used to just to supply the voltage 
uh, for this portion okay so that component is very very important and maintain the isolation uh, consideration we have other ways for isolation which using not optical component no inductive uh, or magnetic component here so that's why it's very good and popular for some applications but I personally don't use it because it you have to consider more other things and also in higher high switching speeds is not very good and you have to uh, it's not very easy as it looks like you have to provide other auxiliary circuits to make it provide good switching okay so this is one of the main circuits that I use personally for high side and also for low side for high side remember if you are using this power supply the reference point here it should be connected to the source okay so if we are high side we have to make the ground connected to the source and that power supply is just supplying the high side part of the circuit and driving the high side MOSFET properly okay and we have other consideration when we try to drive the MOSFETs in a circuit like this so look at this we have switch here which is high side switch and you have another switch low side switch I know this is not a MOSFET it's a IGBT okay but it has the same property we have also two capacitors here and each capacitor maintain across its terminals VDS by 2 VDS by 2 now if I want to apply PWM signal I have to apply PWM signal there and the complement of that PWM will be applied there so if this switch on this should be switch off why because if I switch on both of them the voltage will come and short through both MOSFETs and go to the negative and this will damage both MOSFETs so I have to make sure that they don't short okay and they don't turn on at the same time so my first thinking is to apply signal like this turn on for the first switch turn off for the second switch and then turn off for the first switch and turn on for the, the second switch but does it happen practically like this the answer is no i have time for turning on and time for turning off and during these times i might overlap and that's called cross uh, conduction so that mosfet and that mosfet during the switch on and switch off they might meet and they are not completely on and off and that will make something called shoot throw one of them might be delayed and that, that this one turn on very fastly than this one okay so that will make short through short through me means short circuit okay having the throw uh, these MOSFETs during turning on and turning off time to prevent this to happen we provide something called dead time that the time should be provided before turning on any transistor so if I want to turn on this transistor I have to provide the time if I want to turn on this transistor I have to provide the time so now we have this MOSFET now as on and then I want to turn it off I turn it off very quickly without the time but when I apply a, a, an on signal to this one to this signal to this MOSFET I have to wait the time time and then we'll turn it on okay to make sure that this has turned off completely okay so uh, during turning on the first one I have to wait the time and then uh, turn on the, the, the MOSFET this will make the shoot through to uh, to not happen and I can really uh, save my MOSFETs from high current spikes and heat and these are the consideration you should uh, take into account if you are using drivers for low side for high side and also drivers some drivers also provide the dead time and some drivers don't so if you are using the isolated uh, drivers for the first uh, the, the high side MOSFET uh, switch and low side more uh, switch you have to provide also the time that the time can be provided by a driver itself or by you as a programmer okay when you uh, make the PWM signal you have to wait the time uh, time before turning on the other uh, MOSFET and this happens sometimes by software and sometimes by hardware so I will stop now at this slide and will continue talking about uh, more consideration and also uh, one of the uh, converters which is called inverter how we uh, invert uh, the voltage from DC to AC. So let's see you in the coming video. Thank you.